Guys, hello, welcome back to the stream this evening. Um, we are going to continue on with our Let's Go Pikachu playthrough, which we were playing last night and Saturday, and about two weeks ago, but then I was ill, so we couldn't do it. Um, and I've had a shiny new haircut today, so I hope you are all well. Um, and we should be good to go. Um, yeah, good to go. Um, if my controller will work. Come on, controller. There we go. Uh, let's have a look at our party. Okay. Um, I feel like we're all right. We can, we can, we can do this. Okay. A Pokemon is sprawled out in a deep and comfortable slumber. Man, it's where I want to be right now. I'm tired tonight. Use the poker flute. Of course we do. Here we go. I'm just gonna be quiet. While we do the poker flute. It's so nice. Okay. Here we go. Oh, the animation and everything. Snorlax woke up. Snorlax is looking at you and it looks hungry. Oh. Quick, get the porridge out. I'm only messing around. But no. Mr. Fuji, there's something I forgot to mention when I give you a poker flute. Oh, perfect timing. You see, this Pokemon is called Snorlax. It's been known to attack the first thing it sees after waking up. It thinks what it sees is food. Since it can be pretty dangerous, please help it calm down by battling with it. Your Pokemon. Once you defeat it, it'll become more docile. You should be able to catch it just like any other Pokemon. Okay, so does that mean we have to battle it, beat it, and then we can catch it again? I don't want to beat it and then lose Snorlax. Snorlax so much. It's like one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Let's get in the bag. No, we can't. We have to battle it first. We have to battle it. Okay. This is going to be difficult. Um, should we start with a double kick? Like Ash Catchum style double kick. Okay. It's not doing very much. It's not doing too bad though. Yawn. Oh. No, Pikachu. You're going to be drowsy. Uh, let's go double kick. If we get a crit, crit, we beat this Thing. Crit. No. Crit. Come on. No. Now we just fall asleep. Huh. And then we just, yeah. Oh man. Um, okay. I think we bring in our savior in Venusaur. And then we can leech seed it, stall it out, hopefully, because this thing. We all know how much of a monster Snorlax is. Please don't paralyze us. No paralysis. So that's good. Um, should we sleep harder? Yeah, let's do that. Let's put it to sleep. Evening, Nigel. How are you doing, my friend? I hope you're well. Thank you for joining us this evening on our playthrough of Let's Go. I'm just, I'm just battling this Snorlax. I just found out that we have to battle it first beat it and then we've got the opportunity to catch it so that's really good but I hope you've had a good day my friend and uh, you're um, gonna enjoy the stream with us tonight so that is the big thing I really need to have a look tonight at the, the, the power of this petal dance because I feel like this Venusaur is like it feels like petal dance is like on steroids it does so much damage to even like resisted stuff it's crazy so there's a Snorlax beat now the worst thing that can happen here is that we don't get the opportunity to catch it. Now's your chance to catch the wild Snorlax. Here we go. Bag. Give this bad boy some berries. Yeah. Okay. Get ready. Nice. We got it. I just heard Wills played his last flinch circuit game. <gasps> oh my god, really? Has he? That's pretty cool. I, I, I need to know the result. I need to know the result. Ah, what am I doing? I'm pressing buttons I don't even need to press. What is going on with my controller? Ah. Ah. That's why I'm on bag, aren't I? Okay. Snorlax, belly drum. Please don't run, Snorlax. Do you know the result, Nigel? Do we get it? We get it! We get it! We get Snorlax! Yes! Okay, dreams can come true. Okay, who wants Snorlax? Who wants the nickname? Will, how are you doing, my friend? Oh, the tension, the tension. 
tension is so high. So, for those of you out there that do not know, Flinch Squad Circuit is going on right now. It is the last week, it is the final pairings this week. And Nigel, Wormsai, and Will, Will R, VGC. I have two good friends here. On neck and neck, tied at the top. So this final week comes down to who takes away this beautiful trophy and a bunch of amazing Flinch Squad goodies. So, it's going to be epic. We're going to do the review episode, the final, the giveaway, the, the announcement, the results, everything on Monday next week on Christmas Eve. So, stay tuned for that, guys. And these guys, Will, Will knows what he's done. So, I like, I'm hoping to get the, because I should get the results. But I will keep tight-lipped about it. But I'm really excited. Um, and whoever wins out of you guys, you've done amazing this season. So you should be very proud of how you've both done. It's been really enjoyable. Mr. Fuji. Oh, my Osiris. That was impressive. Thank you very much. There are other Pokemon out there that will try to attack trainers just as Snorlax did. When facing such a Pokemon, the best thing to do is defeat it, then catch it. Remember, defeat, then catch, in that order. Well, I'll see you later then. Is this what... Your own was on about with um, Mewtwo. You have to defeat it, then catch it. Hmm. Uh, we need to go to Fuchsia, so Fuchsia is this way, I believe. Come on, Venusaur. Is the fisherman going to turn? We're going to play the dodge game again. I like this dodge game, even though we'll probably get ourselves a super rod or something. Um, and Nigel, have you scheduled your match for this week? Hmm, do you think you could tell me who I might be? Hmm, I think you're the move deleter. Could that be? No, no, it just doesn't feel right. Okay, he's not the move deleter. He does know who he is. Think you could tell me who I might be? Hmm, Mr. Dazzler. I'm Mr. Dazzler. That has such a wonderful ring to it, Mr. Dazzling. Oh, Mr. Dazzler. Mr. Dazzler would sound better, but he is Mr. Dazzling. You must be right, I'm Mr. Dazzling. Well, you helped me remember, so here. Dazzling Gleam. Okay. Here we go, there's the origin. Dazzling Gleam originated in Kanto. We just missed it on the playthroughs of Red, Blue, Yellow. Fire Red, Leaf Green. Um, gold, Silver, Crystal. Soul, Silver. Hot gold. Yeah, so we, I mean, guys, we are not playing this game well. To get this move so far on. Um, okay, right. When you are playing Nigel, please lose. Um, um, and yeah, that's what he meant. Nick. Ah, okay. I play Johnny Saturday evening. Nice, okay. Saturday evening. It's all gonna happen. It's very exciting. It is very exciting. For those of you that out there that, um, I feel so bad for, for Venusaur. Every time we go on any like tight spaces, it's just too too fat to fit through. Poor Venusaur. Um, but any of you out there that are interested in playing, um, we will be starting the promotion drive starting next week with signups beginning for the Moon Series. So it will be very exciting. And I've got a sleeping picture you out on the field, which is never a good idea. So we'll switch it out, bring Venusaur in. It seems like it's pulling on its way, this Venusaur. Um, do we know what the ruling is if it ends up as a dead tie? Well, we were talking about this last night, Will. So, if it's a dead tie and everything is it like win difference, everything is a dead tie. I would, I would love to do a live stream, um, like playoff, but it will be at the discretion of. Uh, the players if they want to do that then that is fine if they don't want to do that you know like i'm not going to force anyone into anything but we need i think before the the week ends we need to make a decision on what's going to happen so it's a little bit fairer before results are all in the other alternative is we go to a head-to-head -head. so when you whoever the top two are when they played we go off that result and then whoever won that match is the winner so they're the two options that we've got if there is a dead tie. One turn wakes. Never good. Um, so yeah, 
that is it. But it's entirely up to you guys. And I would say it is it is definitely between you and Nigel. So it's something you guys need to discuss, think about, and then let me know. But you can let me know by Friday what you think. Personal message being like, uh, we can discuss it in the Discord, the main chat, um, or you can just direct message me. Um, it's entirely up to you guys. Whatever you feel comfortable with and doing. So... Um, this is one of the things that will be ironed out going into the moon series, and these are things that like I just I I didn't think would happen, and these are things that we need to have in place for future. So these are good situations to have. I know they're not great happening right now, and it's not ideal for you guys, but these are things that are going to get ironed out, and you guys are helping pave the way to make this whole circuit um, more enjoyable and um, a lot better than what it currently is now. Even though I think it's very it's very good fun. Um, awakening. We have a sleeping Pikachu, so this is going to be handy. So let's hop in our bag, get some medicine. Awakening. Oh, we have a bunch of them. Sorry, Pikachu. Just letting you s sleep it off. Um, let's use up some of these super potions because otherwise we're just not even going to. We're not going to bother using them. We're going to just end up with like 20 super potions at the end of it. Um, Okay, well, I don't think anybody predicted this kind of situation would occur. Yeah, I like totally didn't. Let's battle this lady trainer on a romantic bridge. Where can smell the sea breeze doubles the effect of the training? Let's do some coaching. Are you ready to battle now? Yes, we're battle ready to go. Um, so yeah, it's entirely up to you guys. And obviously, like anyone participating as well, I think has a good... Um, a good opinion um, and their opinion does matter so I think yeah obviously the two people that concerns with the most which is you two um, I think probably should have the, the the bigger say on things Pikachu's just a badass isn't it like this 38 level 38 level Pikachu we need to get to level 45 so we can go back and battle Sabrina he's probably got like level 60 Pokemon just to draw us Hopefully we can start catching some Pokemon tonight because the last two streams we've caught barely anything and I'm getting a bit, kind of getting, like I'm, my fingers are itching. I know we just caught Snorlax which is pretty cool and actually you know what, I'm going to pull Snorlax into the team because who doesn't want Snorlax? How do you dodge Dazzling Gleam? It's a spread attack. This Pikachu's like a magician. It's like, teleport out of here. Um, but yeah, so we'll do that. And if anyone wants the Snorlax named after them. Speak now or forever hold your peace. This Clefable is just so tanky. It's crazy. We need a Clefable. But I mean, could you imagine if this was a tournament? If these if these like effects happen in tournament, the RNG just on steroids, like because your Pikachu loves you so much, it just dodges every single attack that your opponent throws out at you. Be like the ultimate Pokemon trainer be kind of funny, really. Like, tournaments would be hilarious. Can you imagine the rage and the salt of people? <laughs> I'd be so annoyed. I'd be so annoyed if I if I battled someone. It might, like, their, their Pikachu. They used Pikachu against me because they just knew. They knew the whole time that whatever they did, it doesn't matter because Pikachu's never going to get hit because it loves you so much that it's just going to keep dodging those moves. Uh, add to party. Jace, I'm sorry, but we have to put Snorlax in. We have to do it. Luigi, how are you doing, my friend? Thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you've had a great day, and I hope you enjoy the stream with us this evening. We managed to nab ourselves a Snorlax, which was very exciting. And um, the name is up for, for grabs, so like I keep saying, if anyone wants the name, then uh, come and do it. Um, and Nigel, I think most of us will start crying. It would, it would be funny though, wouldn't it, Nigel? It would be funny. Like, a little bit. There's a little part of me. Oh man, we're so bad at this. There we go. Come on, we'll get ourselves a Pidgeot as well. Two, three, and we get it! Excellent. I'm doing good, hope you are as well. I'm doing really good, my friend. Um, <clears throat> got that Tuesday tiredness. I don't know, it's like, I'm never tired at the end of the week. I'm just like, oh, bubble beam. Uh, yes, we'll get rid of. What have we got? Bubble. 
We'll upgrade it to Bubble B. Um, yeah, I don't know. Always Tuesdays is the day. Um, I don't know. Like, my workout routine, I guess, probably doesn't help that. I was up super late last night as well. I couldn't really sleep last night, so I got up and... Um, uh, it's a Krabby! Um, yeah, so I was doing a lot of work on the... Um, like, I went to bed and then I just had to get up again because... I just couldn't sleep, so I got up and I did a lot of work on the new Patreon stuff, the um, the Moon Series guides, the Moon Series circuit, they'll be kicking off in in January, sign up starting soon, so I did like a lot of stuff for that, um, which is pretty nice, which will be kind of like slowly seeping out next week, uh, did some flinch squad stuff, did some flinch clothing stuff, and then it was 2 o'clock and I was like, I need to go to bed because I've got work for like 5 hours. So yeah, that's probably why I'm a little tired. Nothing to do. Oh, it's an oddish. We'll do the oddish. I'm doing good. Hope you're as well. I'm also hella tired. Well, mate, you just sit back, relax, and and I hope you enjoy. Let's catch in some Pokemon, playing some Let's Go tonight. It's gonna be fun. How can we not catch an oddish with an Ultra Ball? It's just like the most badass oddish of all time. Two, three. Let me get it. No. I feel like um, I want to change Pokeball. I don't want to waste all my Ultra Balls. I know we've got like 61 of them, but... There we go. Excellent. We have to get it now. And well, I'm looking forward to your Moon Series guides. The Sun Series guides was, did, were really useful for me. Oh, thank you so much, Will. Um, they're going to be a little bit different because um, they'll be along the same lines. So they're the same structure as the other guides are going to be they'll be a little bit more polished um, than the the sun series guides because i learned a lot doing them uh, so they'll be a little bit better hopefully um but the the differences are going to be the the pokemon that um, we're going to be covering because i don't feel like because we're introducing the z crystals um I don't feel, and like that's going to be the center point of most of the guides are going to be like new Z move users and good Z move users within the format and how you can use them. Um, so my thinking was, I, I just want to cover the main restricted Pokemon that we, I, I kind of perceive to see as being useful Z move users. Um, and then covering the non-restricted Pokemon as well because I, I think there's a lot of non-restricted Pokemon now in the Moon series that become way more relevant than in the Sun series and a lot of the Sun series guides are kind of relevant to the Moon series anyway and I think then the big batch change of guides is going to come in the the Ultra series because everything kind of changes there with Megas, um, with the Restricteds, with the Primals um, so I think that's when it's going to be the big jump whereas this feels a little kind of I don't know like the intermission almost but um, they will be hopefully very useful as well and uh, as always I if there's Pokemon that you want to see covered that I haven't covered then um, just just say in the videos and the, the descriptions tell me on the streams what you want to see I I, I want to produce content that you guys want to see so that's the, that's the thing so you just need to if there's stuff that you're like, oh man, I wish you would do a guide on this Pokemon, um, you just need to say. And like, unlike the Sun series where I did just limit it all to uh, restricted Pokemon, like I say, we're going to be opening it up now to um, to non-restricted as well. So, like um, the first month, I've got the the whole January schedule all done out for the Patreon, um, which will be getting the guides way before the YouTube channel does. Um, like we've got Tapu Lele in there, um, we've got like Evelto, Me Too, Palkia, uh, Kyogre, Groudon, obviously because they're the, the big ones, the big guns. Um, but yeah, so um, lots of stuff. But like I said, there's things that you want to see um, covered, then let me know. I do enjoy doing the guides as well. They're, they're really good, and generally the feedback's been really positive from them. Um, I can't believe I'm wasting the Zippy Zap on such a tiny amount of HP. But, uh, 
yeah, looking forward to it. And we're gonna, it's probably going to stretch right through January and February to kind of cover all the guides that I, I feel that are relevant and then the additional ones um, that are requested as well. Because there's always by the time that we get near near the end of the, the guide series, there's always the odd one that people ask for. So, um, yeah, it'll probably be into February before we before we get them all done. But it, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Who's this guy? Have a battle with me in this hidden place. Sounds so weird, but we will do it anyway. Um, yeah, so lots of exciting stuff coming. Um, and the Patreon, all of the Patreon stuff will be updated in the next week when the Moon Series sign-up starts. Uh, Pikachu versus Gravelet, eh? Hmm. Don't like this very much. Let's bring in the Sax Lad. We're probably going to get absolutely smashed with something on the Switch here, but... These are the sacrifices we make. Hmm. I'm confident we can outspeed. And I'm confident Scald can kill this thing. There we go. War total. Super strong. Easy. Pikachu grew to level 40. Ryan grew to 36. Magneton. Let's bring in Charmeleon. Because we know our types. Fire, good against steel. Mm. But yeah, it's um, it's all very exciting. There's lots of work to do, but uh, at the same time, it's, it's, yeah, it's very exciting. And I feel like I'm in a good place now where I've kind of done it long enough where I can start to really start to improve the content quite a lot. So hopefully that shows going into the new year. Um, and with me taking a little bit of a step back from competitive play, like I've said before, gives me that chance to not have, like, a bit like Alex will always say, Alex Aglaza, you know, he doesn't play the competitive circuit anymore, so... Oh! What's your million? We just got absolutely... wrecked. That's not good. Venusaur to the rescue. That's just completely lost my train of th thought. Um, let's go, Leech Seed. What was I even? What was I even saying? If anyone can remind me, that would be good. I just got absolutely. Th I I feel like I got thunderbolted through the screen. Poor Charmeleon. And Nigel, have you redeemed your shiny Lele yet? No, I haven't. But great news that it's not shiny locked. Um, so and I'm really kicking myself. I didn't take your Iron's advice and played two cartridges but at the same time I wasn't very well so I don't think I would have been able to um, to do a second cart anyway but at least I'll get one shiny tapalele which is all that matters and I can't wait I think it's you've got till the 30th of January yeah not nature lock sorry what am I talking about I'm just talking talking rubbish rubbish it's because I'm trying to think of what I was actually saying it was super relevant super important I think it was about like improving content but yeah anyway enough of that ranting for this evening oh and while I remember while I remember I said view battles was gonna be tomorrow evening but I completely forgot yesterday when I was saying this I have like two very close friends of mine that are like being best friends for like ever um, coming to visit tomorrow evening. So it's like the one evening I can't stream this week, which is really unfortunate. So what we'll do is move it to, and the reason I wasn't doing it on Thursday originally was because um, I was going to have a catch up with um, my good mate Sebi. So I'm going to see if I can change with him and then we can do the view battles on Thursday. So hopefully. Everything will work out for Thursday, so it'll not be tomorrow evening, it'll be Thursday evening, we'll do a video about us and then we'll see. Adios to the Sun series. So, sorry for the super confusion there, um, but hopefully it works out. Will it wisp? Right, at least we put this thing to sleep, and now we can start quiver dancing up, and then hopefully beat this whole turn. It's magic! turning out to be way harder than what I ever thought it was. At least it, it, this is the la the guy's last Pokemon. Um, 
I did prefer this game a lot more when there was less trainers and more Pokemon battles. Uh, catching, catching Pokemon. But I guess there's going to be a lot more periods of that throughout the game as we go through it, so I can't really complain too much. But yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll do one more. We'll not, we're not being greedy. There's no greed here. Right, okay. This should be good now, so we can just start air slashing this thing. If it wakes up, we'll get the flinch. Our first flinch. No, it's not going to wake up. No flinch. I've self self-reset my Lele, got timid and modest across my two cards. Ah, perfect. Perfect, Nigel. That is what you want. I think timid's going to be very good in... Um, well, even modest, yeah. Like, modest, timid, but excellent choices for Tepe Lele. I was like bald Tapu Lele as well, um, back in 2017. Really bulky Lele. But, if I had to choose one, because I have to choose one, I think, hmm. What would I choose? Oh, I'd be kind of tempted to go timid, you know. But, at the same time, just that extra power that you get with Modest, especially with the Z move. It's just nice, isn't it? Hmm. Uh, I'd probably go Modest. I'd probably go Modest. I'd get more use out of Modest, whereas with Timid, I think, oh, I don't want Timid. And I've missed certain KOs here when I could have just bulked it out a little bit. Yeah, so Modest. Every time, I think, is the best one. So, but it's nice that you've got, like, the option there. Forfetched! Insane. It is a tough decision, Luigi, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Bag. Have we got any... Ah, we've got... Nana, but berry. What's this do? Okay. One. Two. Three. No. Come on. We can't, we can't lose the far-fetched. I'm going to ultra ball this, because I really want to catch this thing. Okay, because it's going to... Oh, man. This is, like, the worst. Great. Excellent. But I've probably got modest, too. Yeah. I think that's what I will end up with. Oh, I feel like this thing's going to run off. Nice. Come on. This time. One. Two. Three. Every time. I'm going to be a wreck when I do shiny hunting. I mean, if eventually get a shiny because I'll be like please don't run away I feel like this thing's do it's gonna run we're gonna get like one more chance I think uh. and we waste that chance but there is a gloom so that's good I'm DMing you with the result now Lee keep your lips firmly sealed are you DMing me on discord I haven't got it open right now on my PC, but I have got it on my phone, so I can... That was an excellent throw! I'm going to open it on my uh, Discord. Oh, come on. I feel like the excellent throw should give you the best catch rate. There we go. See another excellent. Cool. Okay. I'm going to open it right now, Will. We got Gloom as well. I need to see this result. He hasn't posted just yet. He is typing right now. Here we go. Moment. I love what's sketching out like. Is the camera angle like reflecting my, my phone screen? But I don't think it is. It's fine. Will it? No, we'll stop typing. Let's get ourselves Pidgeotto as well. Okay. Okay. I know the result. Two. Okay, we get there. We get that one. Okay. I'll uh, thank you very much for that. Will results are in. I feel like a news, a real news report. I'm getting like news in right now. Breaking news. We get it. 
Where's a convenient mirror when you need one? Yeah. Right, like, I need it like here, don't we? Here? Then it would be like a nice angle to get Nigel, yeah. You just have to wait, wait to find out. I can't say anything. Just waiting for the ash cap to come out. The ash cap? Ash cap is right here. But I had a nice, nice haircut today, so I feel like I'm just gonna, just gonna air my new haircut out. But I will whack, whack the ash cap out at some point. You know I can't resist. I do love the old ash cap. It's one of the coolest prizes. I won that at, I when I won a PC down in Bristol, um, like a couple of years ago now. Um, and it was either that or a, what was it, plush? Some like, big plush that talked to you when you squeezed it. Um, but yeah, I obviously went for the ash cap, because it's like a proper one. So I was like, yes, that is cool. I, I will take that. I think we're going to get ourselves a Charizard. Here we go. Johnny is evolving. This is the best moment. Yes, we've got a Charizard, finally. Please, is it Lynn Flamethrower right now? Feels like it's a bit, it's cheating a bit if it, if it just keeps Ember. It's like the weakest Charizard. Ah, here we go. What's the Lynn Wing Attack? Yep, we'll, we'll teach you Wing Attack because we've got nothing good right now. We should still have Growl on it. For heaven's sake. You already got a team for Moon Series Lee. I'm kind of lost. My habits just tell me to put other items than Z Crystals and then just want to use Zonaga team. Or I put that on Kyogre and call it finished. I mean, you could do that. I don't know how well. I think you need to. Depends how you're EVing Kyogre, for one, I think. Um, but. Yeah, I've got a couple of teams, so I can definitely send you a paste of one that I have been running. Um, I'll send you on Discord uh, when the stream finishes this evening, and then you can have a play around with it. And anyone else that would like a copy of it, let me know. I don't think it's anything special, but it's just kind of what has been, like, general stuff that's been played at the minute. Um, and what I just threw together, so um, it seems to be all right. But yeah, um, I had to try to continue with knockoff. Mm. Yeah, I think like knockoff gets a bit more relevant now in the format with um, Z moves becoming a thing. But it's still relevant. It's still re super relevant because only one Pokemon, well, two Pokemon. Well, every Pokemon could have a Z move, but I don't know how many teams would do that. Uh, maximum two Pokemon are going to have a Z-move, so there's still four other Pokemon that you can still knock off. It's then when we get into the Ultra Series, then I think knock off just becomes super irrelevant. Um, and you're going to have to have different methods to kind of... It's not really to... Like, I don't think it could become super relevant, because Super Berries will probably be a thing still, but... Um, it's just, you've got Megas, you've got Z-moves, okay, you've got prime, like the Orbs as well, so I mean, like you're looking at like three Pokemon probably on most most top teams. Oh, we can't. We need to get this person to come down here. Come on. We can't even get past you. That's better? Okay, yeah. No running six sticky moves moves to bypass that knockoff. Yeah, that just the, the strats will come out. Nigel, I can't remember why I was discussing this, but I know people suggested it was better for the tornadoes on the typical Zen Ogre teams. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what uh, the Fly in EMZ gets, though. Um, I can imagine it being a tiny bit whiffy and missing those, those chaos, like, slightly. Or just, yeah, just not being quite there. But I don't know. Like, that's the one thing I haven't looked at a lot of the cards yet. So, you could be right, Nigel. Um, I just think 
like one calc that Yorin showed me, which just made me laugh, was um, it was modest Kyogre, Altarium from a water spout in the rain with helping hand um, against Hamungus, and it was it was like ridiculous. I think it had like an eighty. A high 70 or 80 percent chance to to one hit kill Moongus, which is just insane. Like when you think about it, you just slap it a Clefairy with with helping hand next to it for the bottom me support, helping hand support, and then well, yeah, there you go. Got everything you need to win every match. Um, because of the tailwind uh, of the hurricane, team. and that's kind of cool. Yeah, um, yeah, like the. The tailwind, Z tailwind, that could be quite good. Because they lose every tornado speed tying a taunt turn one. Oh my. Taunting a tornadoes. Especially when you're max speed. Like, uh, I mean, I can, I, I get it if you know the opposing tornadoes is. Um, it's slower than yours, but I mean, you kind of, it's such a risky turn to make taunting turn one into a tornadoes because like if they win the speed time and get the tailwind up then they really don't care about the, the taunt anyway um yeah but anyway there's another thing oh the amoongus calc yeah yeah the amoongus calc i think scarf Olga puts more pressure on players to dance to its beat personally um Skull Fogger is like still super relevant, yeah, a hundred percent. I do think Faramosa becomes a bit more relevant as well with its Z moves because of its ability to outspeed Kyogre, Af um, scoff Kyogre, and smash it with something. Um, Fighting him is a very good Z move in this format as well. I just like people even doing that turn one, just match tailwind to see the positions better instead of bank. Yeah, exactly, Luigi. That's uh, like my thoughts exactly. Johnny, how are you doing, my friend? It is going good. Do not worry about being late. But the one thing that I am sad about that you have missed is you missed yourself evolving into a Charizard, which is which was a, a sight to behold. Everyone was in awe. We all had a moment on the stream, but. Johnny, my lovely hope for the circuit. <laughs> Alright, Phytinium could be nice. Yeah, Phytinium, Feramosa, because it outspeeds Kyogre. You can have the po Poisonium as well if you want. Um, I guess it's a good Tapu killer. A uh, good Xerneas killer. Um, killer, I should say. Check. Um, yeah, but. Faramosa becomes way more, way more interesting, I think. Let's fight this dude. We haven't fought a punk rocker guy yet, so let's do it. Chris Barton, how are you doing, my friend? Grace the, the stream, and I let's go Pikachu. How are you doing, mate? Thanks for coming by this evening. And uh, sorry to hear the news today about Mr. Mourinho, but I don't know how you feel about it. Probably quite happy about it, but I like Mourinho. But you probably need a new manager because it's getting a bit stale and things aren't really going that well for you. So be interesting to see who you get in. I'm doing great, man. How are you? How's Let's Go? Let's Go's been amazing, mate. And I'm really good, yeah. But Let's Go's just incredible, man. Like, I'm so far behind because I was like sick for like two weeks, so I couldn't play really. But we're, again, we're kind of playing catch up now. Um, but it's. It's just amazing man like actually just it's so similar like the referencing to like the original games is just absolutely amazing um and just it's so nostalgic from like the original red blue and yellow but just so it just looks amazing uh yeah just loving it amazing mate yeah it's just great have you got it and have you played it yet the big questions and different. I do like him, but I think there are bigger problems. I agree, I prefer, though. Yeah, 100%. It's a bit sad, but never mind. Let's see if you can get a uh, big potch away from Tottenham. That would be interesting. I don't think he's going to leave, though. I, 
I'd be I'd be super surprised. I mean, it'd be an amazing appointment, but I just can't see him leaving Tottenham. He came out like in the summer, and he was like, "I'm never going to manage. I can't see myself managing another Premier League squad." So, um, I'm not really too sure if he'll do that. I would think the only team that he'll probably go to is like Paris or um, Real Madrid. But yeah, Zidane would be decent, I think. Yeah, I mean, you don't know so much. Breath of fresh air from competitive and overload the DS games. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Like, I think that's why I'm enjoying it so much because I know the end game here isn't about getting through it to build a team and having any stress about like rushing through the, the game and um, to be ready for a tournament in like two weeks time or a month's time. I can, it's like so relaxed and like, I think like sometimes that pressure that you've got when you're playing competitive circuit takes the edge off how much you can enjoy a game and it's like I, I couldn't agree more like it's so refreshing to just play this and not have that kind of hanging over me like man yeah I'm really enjoying it but yeah I don't really care I just want to get through it and yeah so I can start putting a team together and practicing online um so yeah um yeah it's just it's just great it's so refreshing um so be nice to see if Jenny it'll be like that as well if you've got a bit more time to play through it and enjoy it before it goes into any sort of tournament format and stuff like that and well Jürgen Klopp's brother Clippy said ah might be interested really I tell you what I I've got this hilarious hilarious thing I sent my friend today so um, on lunchtime from work I, I wander up to the shop and get myself some lunch um, and my mate that I work with is actually off today um, so I messaged him and said I was at the shop today I was getting my lunch and I, uh, I bumped into a guy in the shop who was, uh, he was looking for a job and uh, I, I sent him a picture of this this is like one of the most funny I don't know if it's gonna come up here we go there you go there's good old Dave there Dave in us there <laughs> I, uh, I can't I can't I, I feel like all my Man United friends uh, Chris you might be the only one of the only ones that I haven't sent that to but I send it to all of them whenever there's a manager duo change, which has been quite a lot over the past few years. So, yeah, hilarious. Um, and I hope we get Poch in the summer. That would be insane. And Johnny. Yes, he did evolve into Charizard, man. It was epic. Now we have a Charizard. It doesn't have Flamethrower yet, but we'll get that soon. Neurain. Rip. Never got a notification. That is annoying, man. That is really annoying. And I even tweet out and Facebook and all that stuff. I didn't put anything on Instagram tonight. Oh yeah, guys, as well, if you don't follow me on uh, Instagram, I know I've got the flinched clothing on Instagram, um, but I do have an, uh, I, I opened um, an Osiris Studios account um, not so long ago, which is all just channel stuff, uh, which has got like funny clips of things going on. So if you want to follow me on there, and uh, there'll be like Pokemon giveaways and stuff on there as well. So yeah. Follow me on there. Go ahead. It's Instagram or Cyrus Studios. So yeah, another place. And I'll probably do lots more stories on there because it's like really easy to do stories, like when I'm walking to work or before I do a video or something like that. So uh, you'll get to see the, a different side of Osiris through Instagram, just if you want, of course. And uh, yeah, uh, I like the challenge you to a let's go VGC match. Then you, yeah, though, once you've had the fun, definitely. Chris, we should definitely do that. That would be great. We could do that on stream, man. We could. That would be. That would be epic. Because there's like megas and stuff in that on here. And Johnny, how? I thought Chameleon learns flame thrower 34. It definitely didn't, man. I I was 100% sure that once it evolved, it was gonna learn flame thrower. But um, this Chameleon has not learned it unless we've absolutely cocked up somehow. I never use Instagram, but I'm gonna follow. Excellent. Cool. Luigi, that is excellent news. If you're having trouble finding it, shameless plugs here as well. Shameless plugs. But it's just because in the Moon series, I'll be doing lots of Pokemon giveaways like most weeks, so. I know, man. No flamethrower for years. I'm sure it's Cinnabar Island when we get flamethrower. And well, I didn't even realize how bad some of our keepers were last season until I was watching Sunland. Till I die on Netflix today. I actually haven't seen that. I really want to watch that. Um, I do want to watch it. 
but yeah, I think it's kind of hard to kind of match after Pickford left. He deserted you. Deserted, and he's still loved by the club. Should have stayed with you. That's all I'm saying on that. But that's that's coming from a Newcastle fan. Sorry, Will. Um, I have a fake Instagram. My girlfriend made me an account because it bothered her that I didn't follow her Instagram. So she set up an account. I don't even know the password. <laughs> that's the best kind of account, Johnny. That's what we all aspire to get. Okay, Pidgey. Here we go. I guess it's good. It's not like tedious at the minute, like catching these Pokemon because we really do need to level up quite a bit before we like move on. So, yeah. Oh yes, and there's a raffle running at the minute. So if you guys want to grab yourself some flinched um, merchandise on our view bar stream this week, enter the raffle, and uh, you will have a chance to win some nice merch. Um, Yorin, you weren't here earlier when I was mentioning, so I cocked up with the view battles this week a little bit. Oh my god, I can't throw Pokeballs to save my life. There we go. Okay, we can do it, we can do it. Um, yes, so I've got friends coming round, old school friends coming round to visit tomorrow evening uh, that I totally forgot about until I finished the stream and I was like, oh my god, I've really cocked this up. So I can't stream tomorrow night, so we'll move the view battles to Thursday like they normally are, so... Yorin, I'm sorry it's going to mess up all of the stuff that you changed last night, but they will be Thursday, so we'll do the draw for the raffle on Thursday. And yeah, View Battles Thursday is a final farewell to um, the Sun series, which would be which would be nice. So, yes. And if any of you are around and you want to come and do that, that'll be very cool. Um, it's cool that raffle doesn't reset. Yeah, it is very cool that the raffle doesn't reset, because that, that was the one thing I was worried about. Gloom, come on! Yeah, I oh, you're right. So like he, he does so much work, like behind the scenes work. A lot of this stuff wouldn't happen if it wasn't for him. I, uh, I am in your right, debt a lot for a lot of the stuff that he helps with the channel and things like that. So yes, come on. Yes. Excellent. We get it. I think I already put view battles on Thursday. Never set a date for the raffle deal. Excellent. That's perfect then. So view battles Thursday, seven o'clock. Benanat. We need to get this thing over here. Um. But in football news in general, before we move on to other topics, I will just say that. Um, I am very hopeful that um, Newcastle gets sold this Christmas. Um, Mike Ashley does one, so we never have to deal with Mr. Ashley again, and we can stop being a football club and start playing like a Premier League football team um, instead of a low budget sports direct version of the Premier League football team, which is so depressing. And it has been for many years. We've got Rafa Benitez in charge now, and it's just like if we if we ever have a chance to do anything, ever, it's like now. So hopefully, send a Christmas wish to Santa for all us Newcastle fans that Mr. Ashley sells up and moves on. And that's me saying it in the nicest way possible. Um, but yes, never mind. Okay, let's move on. Uh, did we battle this guy? Yeah, yeah, we'll battle this guy as well. Shout out to Nigel for advertising the School of Hard Knocks 100 episode stream. Where was that? Where was that? Where was that? Do you even bother studying mathematics? Do you have a bright second truth? Yeah, this is true. You're right. I, if, if this channel and anything like this ever kicks off, gonna be my first guy I hire. I could just hire all of you guys. And <laughs> well, I love you Lee, but I can't send wishes for Newcastle. I, I understand that man. I, I I do understand that. There's just a mutual respect there. Um but you can't you can't like Mike Ashley. Well you might. You might be like yeah I like that he's destroying Newcastle. But I don't know if anyone likes Mike Ashley. I don't even know if Mike Ashley likes Mike Ashley. 
I'd love if Mike actually watched this stream. Somehow he was a, like a crazy Pokemon fan, secret Pokemon fan, and he sits watching the stream, and now he's crying at my comments. Um, I know it sounds really mean, but the man is, the man is a nasty man. He's a nasty man. He's not the kind of man, he's like worse than Team Rocket. Just gonna throw it out there, guys. He's a bad man. But I just love the idea of Mike Ashley binge watching um, YouTube Pokemon content on YouTube. <laughs> ah, that would be hilarious. Right, um, okay, let's get Venusaur in and kick some Rhyhorn butt. I wonder what Mike Ashley like. If you guys don't know who Mike Ashley is, just Google Mike Ashley. Um, you have a look. There's a, there's a, a cheap sports brand, a, a retailer called Sports Direct. It's probably infesting your country if you are from Europe or not from the UK. It seems to be like a virus spreading throughout the world at the moment. Um, so you might have heard of it. Um, but yes, he owns Newcastle. Um, I'm just trying to think of like really daft things that he w he would sit and do at home. How many punk guys is there? But yeah, like he has like. A secret like fetish for watching like My Little Pony or something and he's got this, like a dark secret that he never tells anyone about and people find out about it, like his cleaners are paid off because like he doesn't want anyone knowing and it's leaking to the press or anything but we can think of more ridiculous things that he probably does do like yeah but never mind enough about Mike Ashley even though it, it does amuse me a little bit, and uh, I'm sure he's seen every episode of the School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh my god. I can't even think about that. Radicate trying to go for that sucker punch. Paralyzed. Paralyzed. If I can even say it right. Parala I'm not even going to attempt it now. You know when you say something wrong and you just can't say it right for the life of you. What's wrong about watching My Little Part? Nothing, man. Uh, my little niece watches it. She loves it, so um, it's, it's a solid program. I bought her a My Little Pony actually as a present at our wedding. Um, yeah, it was um, a little My Little Pony thing that we put on the table. See this Pikachu, Ultimate Focus Sash. Just give me the luck. Come on, put it into Quick Attack right now. It doesn't even need to. Correct back. Excellent. That was almost English thing. Almost, yeah. Almost. I should work on my Queen's English. Do a whole stream. I know Jace is dying for me to do a whole stream in Irish. I don't feel like I've got the confidence to do it just yet. I feel like the, the accent needs worked on. Okay, we're going to dodge these trainers. We need to get to a Pokemon Center. We are desperate for some healing. Dodge. Ooh, surf. Excellent. Teach out the war turtle. Um, we'll catch a Pidgey while we're here. And Zippy Zap. I know, man. It's just like the best move in the game by mile. I don't know what uh, Eevee's is, though. I've heard it's pretty good as well. I finally got a shiny Abra. Nice. That is cool, man. I'm a bit jealous. Je jealous. I can't even speak, Johnny's right. It's not even English tonight. Safe as a TM. I know. It seems really weird, but I prefer it to HM. But no one likes HMs. Watching My Little Pony as an adult is kind of a meme. I don't watch it, but my girlfriend wanted to do it. Rainbow Dash Plus, you saw. But I had to spend like 13 euro on those claw machines. I don't know how they are called. I know the ones you mean. I am actually, like if I ever see those, I'm like terrible. Because like instantly, it doesn't really matter what's in them. It's worse if there's better stuff in those machines. Because I, I, I'm pretty bad. I'll be like, okay, I'm just going to stay here till I win something. Um, they're like the, the grabbing machines. They're great. They're so much fun. I'm not bad at them either as well. I remember when I went like bowling like two years ago or something. It was like our little nephew Elijah's birthday. No, it wasn't. It was 
Tasha's dad's birthday and Elijah was there and there was like a, a Super Mario one so there was like Todd and stuff in and I won a Luigi and a Wario plush out of it that day that was pretty good um, but yeah there's obviously been times where I've just sat in front of it and just thrown money away and just not done anything and the, the, the thing is with those claws as well you see it go down and it'll grab it so it'll be like this and it just does it just like, it like strokes the toy and just comes back up and it's like you're not even trying and that yeah happens so much is this a safari zone or is this a pokemon center i feel like i'm being deceived okay um this is the safari zone i think or this is where we can trade our pokemon i guess from our phone is there no HMs at all? No, there's still an Ultra Moon. No. Uh, yeah, they got rid of them. They got rid of all of them. The Pokemon Center, I believe, is... Um, yeah, it's down here, I think. And we have to cut to get into it. No. Uh, do we have to cut to get into it? Yeah, I think we might have to. It's like next to the gym, I believe. I'm going to buy some Ultra Balls while I'm here. Poker page replaced HMs, yeah. first five euros yeah and then it gets really annoying Johnny and it's like okay I'm kind of done spending money now I really just don't want to waste any more money how many more five euros am I gonna spend before I get a plush that's then gonna cost me like let's spend 33 that's gonna like like end up costing like 30 euro for like some plush that's actually only worth about five euro we don't want anything else thank you let's get out of here but yeah, the grabbing machines are cool. That's like one of the things I'd love to go to Japan because they have like the Pokemon ones like everywhere. Or I just imagine they do. That's where I just spend all my time. So Lee, how was Japan? I don't know. I uh, I stood on a street corner and played grabbing machines. I got 500 plushies though, so I'm happy. That my trip would probably end up going. <laughs> We can finally heal, and uh, and then I guess we can go to the we can go to uh, the safari zone. And that would be that would be that would be a good trip. I'd be happy with that. I'd be happy with that, Johnny. Um, hmm. This is a Pokemon gym. Do we just go to the gym? Let's go to the gym. It's all poison. Oh, how good does it look? There's definite reference to the anime in here. Yo, champ in the making. We have the Safari Zone here in Fuchsia City. Where you can meet tons of different Pokemon. And at the Fuchsia City Gym, we welcome trainers who've met lots of Pokemon. So, I need to see a Pokemon you managed to catch at least 50 species of Pokemon. Well done, looks like you've caught 53. Good job we caught that Venonat earlier. Okay, so we meet the criteria. And it's Koga, who is probably the most badass looking of all the gym leaders, I think. It's very cool. I always felt bad for Koga, because poison types, red, blue, and yellow, were like, absolutely trash. Whereas now they're actually pretty decent. So now he would be a genuinely good gym leader. Startled by my disguise, are you? I shall use my intricate style to confound and destroy you in battle as well. Just like that. Appears. I'm amazed every time I see that. He looked just like me, right? Now, head on in, experience his moves for yourself. Oh, this is a weird one where there's the invisible floor, right? Yeah, this is cool. I like this. We can go up here. Worlds in Japan would be so cool. Worlds in Japan would be incredible. Where is the gym guy's neck? I've never even looked at that. I need. I feel like I need to go back and talk to him now. Need arena. Uh, it's a pretty decent level. And sippy zap it. Okay, we should get it next time. Toxic. Good job we've got antidotes and full heals and those pewter crisp beasts that Brock gave us earlier. Get rid of all this poison. Um, it's not this, it's if he's up and go off the ball. 
He looks like he had literally his head on his shoulders. Right, I'm gonna go back after this and just talk to him because I need to see this. I mean, I've talked to this guy a, a gazillion times already in this game and I've never even realized the whole mech thing. Um, yeah. Let's get War Total on the go. Revives were legal in VGC and super portions, hyper portions. It'd be hilarious. Full heal, full restores. Yeah. I mean, it'd be cool. Like, you've got a limited supply of them. So you could only use, like, yeah, because you can't use it and move that turn. But you got, like, say, you got four full restore per battle, both trainers. Um, and one and two revives to use every match. So you had a total of six six items you could use, but you could only have a max of four of the, the same item. That would be kind of cool. You could make some proper janky VGC rules, honestly. Like we introduced the love tech, like the, the mechanics where your Pokemon can like dodge everything just by how much it loves you. Um, because I just I would love a VGC format with that as a mechanic just to see how much people rage because I know for a fact that I'd be raging if I couldn't and Wartal is evolving into Blastoise it's excellent I actually think we could have an interesting thing if everyone could have like two items two yeah or one yeah maybe not six then but like yeah I think everyone has to have the same uh, you don't have to have the same items, but you can have like two items. It'd be kind of cool. Make it a bit interesting. Did we have the Wonder Launcher sort of thing way back in Gen 5? We, yeah, Wonder Launcher was like um, a format, wasn't it? Six sounds way too much. Uh, I don't know. We could have like six. But you can only have like four of each. That's what I would go with. I'd make it. I'd open it, open it right up. It's got full heal. We're going to be like totally running out of these by the end because everything's getting poisoned. Here we go. Uh, X items will be absolutely broken by the way. Oh yeah, <laughs> completely. Plus two in any stat. Roto boost in VGC please. Now that would be cool. It's like a free sword stance. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like just swords dancing anyway isn't it because you can't move that turn so but i guess it gives the opportunity for pokemon that can't learn that attack to actually have that boost so so it makes it a little bit broken but going for a protect it's almost double the choice band oh yeah you could actually use it on banded or scarf pokemon as well which is yeah it's pretty broken So yeah, you got X special on a choice scarf to Kyogre. And then yeah, just origin pulse everything. Or just have something next to it like the fairy with follow me heal pulse. So you can just restore its its health. Easy, easy wins. The game will be fake out on everything. I'm joking items left. <laughs> right, I know, right? <laughs> Fake out, like triple fake out teams supporting one Pokemon that's just um, using X, X items. Getting that increased crit rate and dodge rate from petting the Pagia, yeah. <laughs> just mid turn, just patting it, getting the controller icon coming up and doing that. Oh my god, this is like horrendous. Okay, we need to do something because Pikachu's gonna die of poison here. Okay, let's see. Um, switch. That's gonna be good. Hmm. I mean, we can leech seed it and just stall it out if we can hit a leech seed. I don't know if we're gonna hit one against a Tmuck. Just minimize. We've got to let it get way too out of control now. Um, okay, you see. Yep, dodge. Moonblast. Muck with Moonblast. It's got all the techs. Everything. Come on, one leech seed. There we go. Okay, we can win this now. It's fine. Right, let's.
let's see if Petal Dance can hit. Because Petal Dance, and like I was saying at the very start of the stream, like Petal Dance is, it feels like it's just broken. It's so strong. Like even against resisted Pokemon, like that's a good chunk of damage against the Muck. Yeah, I have no idea, Johnny. It doesn't make any sense. Moonblast Muck. I still think Venusaur is just like the biggest beast. I'm so pleased I hung around and caught a Bulbasaur early on. Like we spent a lot of time trying to get that Bulbasaur. And I'm so pleased. It's been like definitely. No full restore. Which is good. He's probably keeping it for this B drill. Um hmm. We'll probably be able no, we we'll keep yeah, we'll keep Venus out for the moment. Should really get Charizard out, because we need to level Charizard up. Oh, we're locked into Petal Dance. We definitely should have switched. Yeah, it's not doing very much damage now. And we're confused. Outrage. Wow. Damn, that does, like, a fair chunk of damage. Hmm. Um, hmm. We're confused. Do we take the risk in Leech Seed? Let's do it. I think we'll snap out of confusion. Well, we're not confused. Famous last words. Venusaur. Um, okay. We need to switch now. Let's bring in Snorlax. Big fat Snorlax. He can take down a beam drill. Easy. Right, it should be confused after this. Okay. This beam drill is so strong. That outrage. Shouldn't be doing that much damage. Um. Let's yawn. Hit yourself. Oh, of course it doesn't hit itself. Okay. Pokemon. Um, hmm. Do we sack and then just bring... Yeah, I think we just sack Snorlax. No, I don't want to sack Snorlax, actually. I'm going to bring in Charizard. And Charizard can do the job. We should have done this a long time ago. Yuri is a better secretary than Venusaur. <laughs> there we go. Free switch. And now it's asleep. Okay. Right. I mean, we have got fire spin. That good old fire attack. That's the worst Charizard with Ember. Actually, can we buy Flamethrower from Celadon City? I don't know if we can. I thought you could buy... Oh no, it's probably Fire Blast, isn't it? Fire Blast, Blizzard, Thunder. I mean, that would be better than Ember. Right, we've got to do some healing. Heal up everything. Uh, let's use these pure crunchies. I swear I've got like um, Pikachu candies as well. Um, okay, let's just give this thing a few. Okay. Um, what do the Pikachu candies do? Pokemon box. Okay, we don't want that. I haven't really looked through this yet. Power up pocket, if you get water stone. Battle pocket, we've got lots of those. Catching pocket. Loving trunk, we know what that is. Candy drop. Okay, quick candies, rare candy, mighty candy. What do these Pikachu candies do? What's it do? Candy that is packed with energy when given to certain Pokemon will increase all their stats at once. Okay, I guess we can only give it to a Pikachu. That's good. Hmm. You can't get Flame Throw TM until Stealth Core and Saffron. Charizard doesn't learn until 54. I never found Flame Throw TM, but I hear it was in Stealth Core. Stealth Core? 
Oh, so we need to go back there. Where's this? Where's this? Where's this opening? Is it... Is it here? No. It's not here. We need the... Okay. Here we go. Let's ride along. We need the mist. There we go. Let's find this guy. So we could go back to Saffron City and find it in there. Um, it's a long walk back up to Saffron City, but I mean we have to go back up there to fight, to battle um, Sabrina anyway, so when we stop by, we could drop in and see if we can find it. All the rocket guys should have gone now, so that will make it a little bit easier. Chris, do you know which floor it is on? Toxic every time! Oh, I hate this gym. I love this gym and I hate this gym. Pikachu expelled it. That is what we like to see, Pikachu. Must have heard me just complaining. Whereabouts in Sylphcore is it? Which do you know which floor it's on? Because if you know which floor it's on, it like cuts it down massively. But if you don't, it's fine. We can do some exploring around the old Sylphcore. Battling old Harry here. He's haunter. He's just gonna toxic us. Anyway, he's got three of them. Um, let's see if we can zip his up. For the knockout. Come on. Excellent. There's one. 10th floor, excellent, well, alright, we have to remember that, because I feel like it's going to be, oh, I think it's 5, is it 5 or is it 10, at least we've narrowed it down to 2 floors it could be on, we can easily explore both of those floors, love all, and so much, that's all right, I might be wrong, I trust him if you said 10th floor, Okay, cool. We'll go with Will. And then if not on the 10th floor, we know where to look after that. It could be it. You're in, you're just saying random floors now. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. If it turns out it's on floor 8, I apologise. But I just feel like, you know, I know you by now. You'd have me searching around the whole of the 8th floor through... As many, as many Evo Evolution animations as you could watch, and I'll still be there. I'm like, it's got to be here somewhere, but it's it's never there. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> you must be confused from that pedal dance. From yeah, I think so. so how can we go about this? We need the steam. Steam is not helping right now. Come on. No. Steam, steam, steam. There's Koga. Oh, should we? I guess we we battle her because, like, why not? We've done all the rest of them. If it is ten, I ask Google. Google doesn't lie. Excellent. Google does not lie. Google is our friend. Um, hmm. This isn't going to be straightforward, I think. Yeah, because we're probably going to get toxic. 100%. It's going to be the move of choice from this trainer. Ooh! I just had a weird recommended thing come up. That's weird. Have any of you guys ever watched a program? on Netflix called Making a Murderer. It's a crazy documentary. Um, just had a notification that this Catherine Zellner, I don't know why, because I don't follow this person at all, but this just this random announcement on my Google Chrome coming up saying Catherine Zellner is going to make an announcement at 2.30 today about the Making a Murderer case. Which is kind of interesting. Hmm. And that guy Google does know a lot. 
Soda beam. This is not toxic. Soda beam just fail or I mean we could have probably used wing attack. We probably would be doing a bit better with wing attack than that. Anyway. Um wheezing. Let's get Blastoise to go. So we haven't actually used Blastoise since it's mega evolved. It's gonna be good. And hopefully we can do like two gyms tonight. If we can do this gym and then Sabrina. That will be epic. And then we can the next time we do Let's Go Stream we can head down to Cinema. Because we can always come back to the Safari Zone later if we don't need to go there right now. Come on, Blastoise, let's get the burn. Get the burn, it will help. But we should be able to get the knockout right now, I feel. Come on, should be enough. Yep. We just got Fire Blast and a huge advocate of Fire Blast and Hydro Pump. I mean, yeah. Like. Fire Blast, I'm, I'm totally down for it. We've got plenty of ethers as well to help us out with that. No! Ah. I thought that, that lady was the last one. <clears throat> but now we've got Tema Edgar. And he's Arbor. He's got three Pokemon. Oh. Just want to fight Koga. Because I know he's got Crawbats and Golbats. And probably a Venomoth as well. Which you can all beat pretty easily. Oh, the poison every time. Come on, Pikachu. Heal yourself with poison. Hear me. I don't think it's gonna go. I don't trust me because I need Z. I mean, it's a cool option alongside Hydro Vortex. Right, we're gonna have to switch because Pikachu's gonna go down to poison very soon if we don't. Um, hmm. Let's go, Johnny Hacks. Let's bring in Johnny. Let's do this with a Ember Charizard. Right, let's just throw some wing attacks out. Wing attacks gotta be doing more damage. Really doesn't feel like it. It's just weak in general. Um let's see what Ember does. Poison jab. It's probably nearly chaos. Now we take mm -hmm. I feel like we're gonna lose Charizard here. Yep. Johnny, you let us down. Female Charizard. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Go on. Bring you in. It's the best thing to be nicknamed after. Johnny, trust me. Um, okay, Elite Seed, and then we can we can start petal dancing. Is it worse Charizard than Ash Charizard? <laughs> Ash Charizard was pretty badass though. Especially in the early seasons. Before it, it did one and went like... I never get Ash. Like why would you let your Char I know like I get it a little bit. Like I want to be kind to my Charizard. I want to let it live this life in the mountains. But to be fair if you just keep it you'll probably win stuff. You'll probably win a league. Um, When you go to like the Pokemon League when you've got all these gym badges instead of like starting again in every single region you go to you've got all these badass Pokemon sitting at Orcs like a Snorlax like a Heracross a Kingler like there's so many and he's just like nah nah I'm just gonna I'm gonna start again but I'm gonna take my Pikachu which is definitely plus level 100 by now but yeah why let that Charizard go how annoyed would you be though if you went to a Pokemon tournament and your Charizard just ignored you and you lost in like the semi-finals though like you did? You 
itself heartbreak heartbreaking. We'd hate that Charizard as well forever. <laughs> you would just release it. You'd be like, yeah, go and live in the mountains. I don't want to see you ever again. Okay. Mate, I need to finish the thing. I'll wait for you to do the thing. Cool man, I will see you in a bit. Johnny is our guest on this week's um, Flinch Squad review show. So, um, after the stream this evening, we are recording that. So, Johnny, good luck with the things, and I'll see you for the thing, my friend. Um, yeah, so we're doing that afterwards. Thanks for stopping by as well, my friend. And I'll catch up with you later. But then we might have beat... We might have beat Koga. Maybe not. This battle in particular feels like it's been going on for an absolute age. Oof. Did we sleep out at first? I feel like they are box faster, but we might outspeed it. No, we outspeed it. Excellent. We avoid. We avoid. So, we just need, like, at least... One more turn of sleep, get a quiver dance up, start air slashing, start flinching. Doing all the business, and then better free can win this. Stays asleep, excellent. I think we could do something now, okay. Um, air slash. As long as we don't miss the air slash as well. I mean the damage isn't bad, and that extra turn of sleep is perfect. Yes! Here we go! Perfect. Butterfree. For the win. Good lad, Butterfree. Okay. Now, yeah, here he is. Okay, let's, let's heal up before we do anything else. Medicine. Um, Shellosh. Sebo. Okay, so we've done that. Have a potion. Do we have any? Rev I don't think we've got any revives, which is a little bit sad because now we don't have. I'm going to Charizard. Um. Uh, let's just make sure as if he's up. Now nah, we'll be all right. I don't think we're going to need more than seven. The Pokemon Center is next door. I could go out, yeah, and like do it, but I'm just a bit lazy. Where's Koga gone? Fwa ha ha. Turn myself into four. Mitchell, like you, dares to challenge me. The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. It's like Kakashi of the Pokemon world. Opponents can't lay a hand on me as poison brings their steady doom. Despair as you feel the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. Here we go. One of my favourite gym leaders and gyms in the game. Challenged by gym leader Koga. Sent out wheezing. What's the bet? What's the bet? We'll put cards down on the table. Bet Toxic is the first move this, this wheezing uses. Let's let's play the prediction game and bring in Venusaur just for that reason. We out predict the ninja. Yes, we did it. We did it. We, did, we outsmarted the in game. Oh, now it's protected. Okay. Right. Koga, you just sit there. You play your stall. Ah, oh, come on. It's just going to protect again and waste all our PP. I don't think I lock into Petal Dance for this one. Wish we had a Steel type right now. But never mind. Okay. I think we should be alright. Hmm. Yeah, let's sleep powder it. Come on, we're not hitting anything. Right, Venusaur, let's hit the sleep powder. Come on. Yes, 
Excellent. Okay, we fit it. Amazing. Come on, this is like the first one. This Venus girl. This is blind as you grown on. I know. It's got the curse. Missed so many attacks. I don't think anything else has missed anything. Just this, this Venusaur is just missing everything. Oh, big damage from the old Razor Leaf there. Well, I guess we could lock into Petal Dance now. There's no harm. I feel like two Petal Dance and each seed will probably get this thing. Yeah, a bit of damage. It's doing so. Oh. Oh. You should take this, right? No. You know, he was trying, he did really well. You can't blame the explode and the critical hit there. Hmm. What's he gonna bring in? Let's go reliable for Pikachu. Guess we're gonna just have to zippy zap this thing. I just got a feeling that Golbat or Crobat is gonna be the last one, and we need to keep Pikachu for that. Pikachu as a toxic. It's 100% got protect, right? Let's bring in Bird Free. Quiver Dance. Hope he toxics us. And then we can just rip through. There you go. Let's protect. Go for that double protect. I mean, we should have sleep powdered there, really. Rushing in too, too quick. But I reckon he will, he will definitely protect this next turn so we can get another quiver dance. And then it might, I don't know if an air slash would be enough to take it down from that range. Nah, no way. There's a protect. But if we can flinch it, that would be super nice. Because I don't think we're going to be able to uh, make a true champ of <laughs> predicting the NPCs. I should put it on my, my VGC accomplishments and then use like a highlight reel of this particular match. And then my, my. Oh man, that's weak. That's so weak. I mean, we take the Sludge Bomb a lot better because of it, but um, he's going to protect again, 100%. Maybe a plus three Quiver Dance is going to be enough to take it out, but then I think we go down to probably Toxic Damage the next turn. 28. Yeah, 100%. So we're going to lose Butterfree no matter what, but we should take this Muck down with us. Yeah. Okay, but a freeze done good. Uh, good old butterfree. It's a pity you can't um heal yourself from the toxic death. Okay, let's bring in Pikachu. And it is the goal back. Zip is that this should be enough to take it down or protecting. Okay, we've nearly done it guys. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. One more turn. One zippy zap should be enough to take this goal back down. It's not been too hard. I'll give all the credit to Venusaur, to Urine, Butterfree, and now Pikachu. Okay, it's hanging on. Barely. Bye. At least we've healed ourselves. And we dodge. This is what I mean. These are mechanics we need to see in VGC. Let's protect again. Again. Well, we know we're faster than the gold bats, so let's just T-Bolt, not wait. Oh, it doesn't even matter, because we're going to go to the Pokemon Center anyway. So, 
It's not like it matters at all. Here we go. Excellent. You've done it. Good game, Koga. I don't think I've ever outpredicted anyone as much as I have in this match. I feel good. I feel like I'm ready for a tournament now. Oh, it's Venomoth is still here. Oh. Um. Hmm. I forgot about the Venomoth. I literally thought that Golbat uh, was the, the last thing. Hmm. I hope it doesn't start using Protect. That would be really annoying. Okay, we're going to get it in the next turn. As long as it doesn't have Protect. Good job, Pikachu. The RNG is on our side. Here we go. There we go. Excellent. Venomoth. Good luck. Hmm. You have proven your worth. Yeah, take the soul badge. He's so salty. <laughs> Competitive mechanic. Now that you have the soul badge, Pokemon up to level 60 will heed your command if you receive them in a trade. Ah, take this too. It's toxic. Give that. He, he literally gives that out. He just hands it out like candy to everyone. To every, literally everyone he meets. Gets that, that move. Okay. Look at that guy's neck as well. It is. Johnny was right. He doesn't have a neck. He's like this. Right, let's go heal up. And where we've got, are we going up to Saffron now? Is it the bike path that we have to take up there? I'm sure there's a bike path somewhere. No, mm, I don't know. Should be better now, excellent. See you again, goodbye. Hmm. What's this old man saying? The Safari Zone has a playful park I know, in front. Out back is the Go Park Complex. Ah, uh, the, so we could trade over from our Go account to this account. That's pretty cool. Um, should we do that now? We could we could probably do that and get some Pokemon. Although I don't want to ruin my playthrough by just getting a lot of Pokemon. That I'm gonna replace with what we've got. So we'll do that another time. I'm sure we'll be back down this way. Sorry, I've just got a text. I just need to just send a quick text. Right, you're challenged by Bird Keeper Wilton. Wilton. What was wrong with Wilson? Like, Wilson would have been... Birdkeeper Wilson would have been good. Wilson. Do you think they already had a Wilton? I could trade you a big boy Shelda if you want. with Shelda's match. Oh, that would be good. That would be really cool. Shell smash Shelda. And then we could have a Cloyster in our team. That would be badass. Ice types are the best. If you don't mind, man, that would be cool. Tell me when you are ready, and if there's anything you need as well. Um, I don't have a massive amount at the moment, but that would be cool. Big boy Shelda. Love Shelda as well. That's such a cool Pokemon. Right, okay. I wonder what's in the grass down here as well. Since, since I feel like we've been lacking in catching Pokemon recently, let's explore this grass. What is that? It's eradicate. It's kind of creepy looking eradicate. Don't want anything for it. Oh my, you're too nice, dude. Too nice, too kind. I'm on the game now, so I can trade whenever. Cool, I'll catch this Pidgey and then we'll, we'll do it. That would be amazing. Thank you so much, my friend. My good friend, Chris. I've known Chris for years as well from Pokemon events. He hasn't played a lot recently, but I'm hoping when Gen Gen Eight kicks in, uh, mate, you'll be you'll be back doing some sort of competitive stuff with BG. Um, yeah, Chris has played like since the very beginning, like 
well, 2009, I think, when, when it kicked off. I'm sure you were there, but yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna hop on to communicate, to get a shelter, play with others. Uh, far away player. What should our code be? Um, link trade. Let's do Charmander. Diglett. Canopy. Let's do that. Might need to add you on Switch first. I don't think you do. I think you can literally just go into here, just put this crazy code in, and it'll pull you up. But we should add each other anyway on Switch, because that would be cool. Is there anyone else out there that would like to, to be my friend on my Switch console? Let me know. We can all add each other and all be friends. In 2009, I was still amazed I could breed starters to get more than one. Yeah. It's, yeah, actually, back in the day, like, yeah, you got your starter and you would never have access to any of the other starters and only that one starter and no way to breed it. Because no eggs existed, just the AK centers that leveled your Pokemon up for you. I always remember sticking a magic cop in. Um... Oh, here we go. Level 100 Pikachu. Trade me that. Um, let me see what I've got. If I've got anything of worth that I can send your way. Um... Hmm. I've got Ghastlies. We should be we should be leveling those things up. Um can I give you? I can give you a little Charmander, that's nice. Um, or I could give you a Graveler so then you get a Golem, but I'm pretty sure you've probably already got one. Um, I will give you a Venonat. Since we just, we just did a Venonat thing. <laughs> no, I can't be friends with you after what you did to me in Harrogate. You're right, and it wasn't my fault. I wasn't even there. If I'd been there and I'd known what was going to happen, you know I would have just not even bothered being nice and offering my ticket out. In 2009, I was using Raindance Jolteon. That was the call, man. Raindance Jolteon. Just make sure that rain is up. Oh, it's shiny as well. No way. Oh, my God. Chris. How can we ever repay you for this? Thank you so much, mate. I've got a shiny, shiny, shiny Shelda. It's gone straight in the team. Move on, her Snorlax. There's a new boy in town. It's my boy Blue. I quit trading, yes. Thank you, mate. I'm gonna repay the favor when I get a good bunch of shinies. And, um,. Dedication of that, I'm going to take this bad boy all the way to the Elite Four now. There's no way I can't do it. We've got to get this fancy add to party. Mm. Bye, Snorlax. And you know what I'm going to do? Um, how can I rename? I want to rename, I want to rename, open box, I think I need to do it there, don't I? Um, do I do it in summary? No, I might have to do it in, no, right here, this is where we do it. Um, oh no, I can't rename it because it's been traded. Get a water stone and beef it. I've got a water stone as well. So I could actually evolve it now. Is it a good idea to evolve it right now? Um battle pocket, no. Clean candy jar? No. Pokemon box? No. It's definitely not there. Where is this water stone? I know I've got it. It's not a TM case. Here it is. Badass shiny cloister, here we come. Yeah. Epic. 
Now we've got a team. Now we can go and challenge Sabrina. Kick her ass with this cloister. Look how good it looks. Yes. Ah. Oh. I wanted to rename it, nickname it Havoc, but because of this, this stupid rules the Game Freak put in place, we can't rename traded Pokemon. Wants to learn Spike Cannon. Heck yeah. What have you got? What have we got move wise? Oh, it's got all the. Oh, we're not taking anything away. Um, no. Sorry. We're gonna just, yeah, we don't wanna learn Spike Cannon. No! I don't know how many times I used to do this as well. In, like, the old game, it would just come back to the screen, it'd be like, do you know what move we got? And I would just click, constantly click on that, yes, relearn move, and it would keep going back in circles around. Um, but never mind, so we've, we've done it, it's good. That is an exciting part to the stream. I wanna get Cloister out now, I think Venusaur's had its workout for a couple of sessions so we can have Cloyster following us around. Bird Keeper Jacob. It's like a perfect match of Wilton. Hmm. It's naive for Salt Match Ice Beam Hydro Pump Explosion. Nice. What level does it learn explosion? Or is it only TM? Fetched. Keep battling. And it's a TM. Excellent. So we can definitely get it. We might actually have it. But then, I kind of like the idea of protect, but it's probably not really that useful. to the root now. Very good Pikachu. Give me the luck. Um, right. Got the XP. Bird Keeper Tor. Jacob. I was going to say Bird Keeper Tor be there. I've just got him in my head today for some reason. It's dodge. Oh. <sighs> Bird Keeper Brothers. Here we go. Don't know why we came into this grass. It's like the worst idea. Just eat Toxic Protect to everything. Like Koga does. True Koga fashion. Everything on my team protect and toxic. And we just have an unlimited supply of full restores. So we can never lose. Except against steel types. Especially because we've only got an Ember Charizard. So a team of steels will just wreck us hard. Right, okay. We beat the Bird Brothers. I think I'm going to try and catch this Dodrio, since we've not really come across one yet. Looks so mean. Okay. I should have got, yeah, we've got one of those. Whoosh. Uh, let's get our Ultra Balls out. Should we use a Master Ball on it just to, like, okay. Just to test the Master Ball works. That was a terrible throw. We were lucky. One, two, three. Yes, we get it. Excellent. Dodrio, you are mine. Right, okay. Let's get this cloister up as well. I might put cloister up front. No, I'm going to keep cloister for, for Sabrina. Use the master ball, you won't. I know, I'm too scared to use the master ball. Keeping it for me too. Um, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Party. Um, let's, um, no. Take out a Pokeball. Excellent. Let's go, Cloyster. Excellent, it's like running backwards. It's got the same problem as Venusaur, it's too fat to get through places. Why is it back to front? Doesn't make any sense. Unless that's just how it naturally 
who's around. Uh, okay. Damn shit, oh, Cloyster, you can't even see what you're doing. Uh, okay, this is the road that we need to go on. Oh, there's a Persian. Can we try and catch that Persian? Super repel. Are you a bad kid or a good kid? Hmm, probably bad. Yeah, it swims backwards in the wild, so does Shelda. Oh, drown if it went. <laughs> it would drown if it went forwards. There's me trying to train these cloisters, and they're all drowning. I'm like the worst Pokemon trainer in the history of Pokemon trainers. Why have you killed all these cloister and shelter? We're all going backwards. Just trying to do them a favor. Just trying to teach them. Nasty plot. Zippy Zap was just so broken. It just makes the game so much easier. I think that the game would be a lot more, a lot harder. And as, as much as I've said throughout this, I should really get rid of it. There's like just a part of me that's like, nah, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it because it just feels like the right thing to do. Um, okay. Oh, is that a Rapidash? Nice. Wow, this is like unexpected. Give it one of these berries. There you go. Okay, bad throw, but it's fine. You might get it. One, two, three. Yes, first time. Rapidash. Here we go. We need to get a shiny Rapidash as well. 100%. It's depressing every time this Charizard levels up. I just know it's got Ember. I mean, we could put Rapidash in. It'd be kind of cool. It's probably got Flamethrower or something. Five silver pinup berries. Nice. Okay. Can we get anything else? Oh, there's a Ponyta. Then we've got the set then. Little Ponyta. Okay. Bag it. Um, hmm. What are the chances of Rapidash appearing? Is it like a really like rare Pokemon to just pop up like that? We're getting, we are pretty lucky, I think, throughout this playthrough. We've had some like really quite lucky things like just pop up randomly and we've been able to nab them, which has been really nice. It's nice when you get a little bit of luck. Hopefully it continues into our like shiny catching. That's shiny hunting, I should say. It's a Pidgey. Another Pidgey. Come on. What's that? It's an Eevee. Oh, nice. This is cool. Okay. Very good. Let's go Eevee. We'll definitely give you a little berry. Uh, give you a raspberry. I can't actually get over the cloister walking backwards. <laughs> I know, it's so weird. It is so weird. We got Eevee. Excellent. Ah, oh, This has been a good day. This has been a really good day. Heliogris at 45. Ah, we got the cloister. We got the Snorlax. We got Eevee, Rapidash. We've had a good haul today. It's been good. What else can we get in this grass? I feel like this grass is the place to be. Oh, there's another Eevee. Okay. I don't think we got... Do we waste these silver? These feel like they're rare. Very then makes you more likely to get an item when given to the Pokemon trying to catch. Okay. That's cool. One. Two. Three. There we go. Again. We could just stay here and shiny hunt, even though we've not got the shiny charm or anything that's going to make our odds better. But if we just keep catching Eevees, we will soon get 
a shiny, which would be amazing. Anything else to get here before we move on? Some Raticate, don't want you. Do deal, we haven't got yet, and um, Psyduck, which you haven't got, so let's do that and then that. I was a little disappointed that it couldn't evolve my starter Pikachu since Raichu is one of my favorite Pokemon. So you can't actually evolve this, this Pikachu, at all. Hmm. You can catch a Pikachu, right, and evolve it. I guess that's one way to do it, is catch a Pikachu early on and replace it with your one. Or can you not do that? It's like your starter one always fixed, so you can't... So you could have two Pikachus, but you can't get rid of the starter one. Hmm. Uh, do do We need you. There we go. Excellent. Hopefully we can get this one as well. And our Pokedex is looking pretty good. Yeah, you can replace the Pikachu, but you can't evolve the start one. Ah, okay, okay, cool. So we could, you could just catch a wild one and then just evolve that. And do it without any... Like, I should, I so should have done that. Without anyone knowing, off stream. Just caught a random Pikachu. And then come on stream and be like, Oh, we've got, we've got the, the Thunderstone. We're going to evolve Pikachu now. And everyone will be like, you can't evolve your starter. And be like, yeah, you can. Watch. Ha, ha, ha. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, what else? I feel like we're going to get maybe some other good stuff. But maybe not as well. Um, okay. Nada, nada, nada. I think we've got enough time to probably just get up to Sabrina. And then what I'll probably do, by the time we get there... We might look for flamethrower and fall 10. I think that's a good idea. And then we'll save outside Sabrina's. Sabrina. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna battle these guys though. This Eevee trio. Because we wanna we'll come back and do this. Definitely. We'll do this a little bit. I can't dodge battle in her, I don't think. No. Or him. Whoever you are. Whoa, you have great Pokemon. Let me see. Be quick, man. We got a, we got places to be. People to see. Side up. Okay. Let's see if he's at this thing. And whatever's in the back. Tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, there's like Cinnabar to do and then um, Vermilion City. Who blew is the gym leader there? But it would be cool if it was Giovanni. Um, mm, switch. No, 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 no. We keep battling. We never switch Pikachu out. Not even registering there was a Psyduck coming in second. Of course it was. Should be reading. Too busy thinking about what's to come next. Cinnabar Island's very cool though. I did like that little saga on the island there. I think you meet Bruno there. Do you meet Bruno there? I'm pretty sure you do. I don't know if I'm just confusing that with something else. Super potion. I'm sure you get fly from that house though. I'm pretty sure you do. Um, okay. Where are we? Is this Celadon City, I think? Hmm. Wow, lots of rats there. And another Snorlax. Okay. Um, we need to go and get Fly, regardless. I need to dodge all these Pokemon, though. Do you not want to battle them? No! Cloyster, come on! Okay. This old band is just going to give us it. Good effort. It's not many who make it up here. Oh, okay. That was it. Thanks, old man. Um, right, this house has to have the fly guy in. Or the fly lady. Oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone yeah, I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. TM fly. Excellent. So we can teach that to Charizard and then we can fly around everywhere. 
Cut our trips down by half the time, which is excellent. Okay. Now, on to... Saffron City. In self car first. First stop. No. I get, we've got to go past the Snorlax. It's a pity we can't just... Hmm. I mean, we probably could and save it for later. Because I kind of want to come back and, like, soft reset for it. Really, like a shiny one. Let's try and teach Fly. And TM case. Fly. To Charizard. Can we fly over? Uh, let's get rid of Scratch. The actual fly action is in Celadon City by the game corner. Oh, okay. So I can't, I don't think I can use this, right? Or can I? No. Hmm. No. So I have to fight the, the Snorlax. Ah, oh, that's sad. I kind of wanted to do that. I kind of wanted the shiny Snorlax. That would be nice. Yeah, that's just literally the move. That's kind of annoying that I've just wasted it. Mistook me for food. Okay, the Snorlax should be way easier to, to tackle than the last one. It's kind of fitting we're starting the episode with Snorlax, we're ending the episode with Snorlax. Uh, let's double kick it. Good old double kick. You can still find Snorlax somewhere else. Oh, that's cool. That makes it so much better. Headbutt! Snorlax is like... It's a really subtle, shiny Pokemon, but it's definitely one that um, I really do love. Uh, it's kind of like that really dark green. Good job, Pikachu. Now we can do it. Just beat it. And hopefully we can catch this one as well. That would be nice. Two Snorlax. Hmm. Let's give it one of those berries. Um, the silver. Yeah. Okay. That didn't work. Excellent. Come on, for that. It's like the tiniest two. Ah, okay, bag. Let's feed this thing. It's fat and it's hungry. One, two, three. Yes, we get it. I like how the ball just bounces off. I know it's like boom. And it had a hard candy attached to it. So that's good. It's big, big. Wow. It's not as big as the last one. It's a bit smaller. The la the first one we caught was huge. Let's go. Celadon City. Right. Come on, Cloyster. Uh, near the game corner. Um, is this the guy that teaches us fly? Uh, no. Okay. Where did Will say it was? Um, said you can, uh, the actual fly action in, is in Celadon uh, by the game corner. Okay. Right. By the game corner. Is it this guy? You're curious, aren't you? You're curious about me and my machine. Do you want the details? Yes. Okay. If you insist, this machine is a vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. It's a marvelous invention if you do say so myself. It's not extra. Shin to say this is a secret technique. Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be a courageous young boy. I'll tell you how to ride this machine. The secret technique, Skydash. Pikachu wants to learn it, does he? Pikachu is just so greedy. Can we not teach it to Charizard? Dash. So Pikachu's going to keep this little balloon thing when we have a Charizard that we can just hop on the back of. Hmm. 
At least we got Sky Dash. That's nice. Excellent. So we've, we've done that. Go to the Pokemon Center. Then we'll pop to Saffron, Self Call. We'll find Flamethrower. We'll re redeem Charizard. And then we'll save outside Sabrina's gym ready for the next the next one. And then I'm going to have to shoot off because I have a prior engagement with, um, with Johnny. We need to do this review episode. It needs to go up tomorrow. And then the week six one will go up on Friday. And then we'll have week seven penultimate week on Monday. And we'll hopefully have a winner's interview as well um, on Monday's episode of the Flinch Squad Circuit. Which is very cool. And uh, oh... Okay, there's a Kadabra. Please, can we just get this? Yes! Please don't be the Radata. Please. Okay, we got this thing. Excellent. Okay, we're definitely using one of these things. Ah, oh, we're not going to catch it thrown like that, man. Great. Okay. Ah! Oh. I know the episode should be quite good. I'm looking forward to doing it with Johnny as well. We were meant to do last week's one, but we couldn't work out um, a time to do it. I really don't want this to run away. Nice. Okay, come on. This is the one. One, two, three. No! Come on, Kadabra. Do not do this to us. Come on. We need to get this one. One two, three, it's gonna run. I don't think we're gonna get it with those big circles. One, two, three. Please don't run. Okay, it's not run yet, so. Oh. Now, 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 now. Great, okay, come on, come on, this is the time. I feel it, I feel it, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. This time we've got it. No! Oh! Right. Two. It's like the most impossible thing to catch ever. Okay. One. Two. Three. Yes! Okay, we get it finally. Poof. Ha. Ha, that's good. We get a Kadabra. Makes the episode even better. Okay. Great. Great, great, great. And if we can get an Abra now. You know if an Abra just appears? And that's thanks to Nigel, because we were running up to the things. Um Okay, we'll come back for an Abra another time. At least we've got the Kadabra. That is all that matters. It's all that matters. Right, self call. Here we come. And it was floor 10, I believe. Self call, self call. Where is self call? If I actually went past it. Hmm. Because I think that's the exit out. It must be. Is this it here? I don't think so. No, this is some dude's house. Where are we going? Hmm. Or is it down around this corner? Silco. No. We need some guidance, guys. How have I forgotten where it is? We were like there. Is this it? This is Silco. Call. Check the sign. Yep. Excellent. What did I miss? And why Shiny Cloister walks backwards? I know. Pledo, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us today. The walking backwards cloister thing is the weirdest thing I've seen in Let's Go. Um, and the shiny cloister is thanks to uh, my good friend Chris, who traded me uh, over his shiny shelter, and then we evolved it. Are we on floor 10? If I just click floor 10, are we just, are we just there? But yeah, it's super weird. Is this it right here? Full heal. Okay. We're currently looking for Flamethrower for our Charizard. Ah, oh, it's definitely in one of these. Flamethrower, there we go. Amazing. Right. Um, bag. TM, TM. Don't worry, Charizard. Can't believe I'm wasting the TM like this. Because they 
they don't. Oh, they do last. Okay, they don't run away. Like, they don't run out. Um, I'm scared. Goodbye, Ember. Flamethrower. Now, Charizard's a real Pokemon now. Real Pokemon. No pun intended. <laughs> Cloyster is very cool. I love Cloyster. And it's a Shell Smash variant as well, so it's going to be epic. We're going to unveil it uh, against Sabrina and give it its debut. Right, so we've done that. Let's get back down to the, the flo first floor. First floor. And then um, we'll go save outside the gym. We send on my way back to the gym now. Duh. Taking forever to find Silk Car. But yeah, it just don't get. Supposedly, if it swims like forward, it drowns. So the only way it can swim is by going backwards, which kind of makes sense. Um, and it is this one. So here we are. Sabrina's gym. Ah, show me a Pokemon that is level 45 if you want to challenge the Saffron City gym. Um, what's your the cloister? Of course. It's all right. Excellent. Well then, fly off to meet the gym leader, Sabrina. And what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to just save right here. And uh, I'm going to end, and then we'll be back very soon. Obviously Thursday we're going to be doing viewer battles, so we will try and pick this up as soon as possible. Um, not sure how we'll do against Sabrina since Cloyster is really special defense week. This is true, but if we can get a shell smash off, I think we can do alright. And uh, just don't make sure you don't miss the next stream that we do with Let's Go, because we will be taking on Sabrina before we do anything else. Then we've only got two more to do, and it looks like Giovanni is the gym leader for, for the eighth gym, which is excellent. Um, make sure you enter the raffle, guys, that we're doing a giveaway on Thursday for some flinch stuff. And um, we're going to do ba viewer battles Thursday. So it will be 7 p.m. Thursday, not tomorrow night, as originally planned. It will be Thursday. So I'm just going to say thank you so much to each and every one of you for coming out tonight. It's been an amazing stream tonight. I've had a lot of fun. We've had a really good run on Let's Go as well. So it's been really, really good. Um, and uh, just enjoy the rest of the evenings. I'll speak to you all very soon. Uh, thank you so much to Chris for the shell there. Big shout out to him. And uh, we will return the favour eventually, sometime when we start our own shiny hunting ourselves once we finish the game. But um, guys, take care. Peace out. Have a great night. And I will see you for the next stream very shortly. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.